Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview of the German World Junior rosters. We do the next World Junior video where the bottom line for this team is, and one of the articles I read while researching stuff for the German team is, they play two to three times more tournaments because of the overseas tournaments than many teams in the World Juniors. Now, um, they don't have the depth of most nations, of course, but they have now... <coughs> um, without their biggest stars, in a pool with Canada, Finland, and Czech Republic this year. Um, there's a reason they've stuck around the top division for three years, because they have that cohesiveness and togetherness because of how much they play together. So they're always going to be a mighty dangerous team. Um, when it comes to their offense, um, they have <coughs> uh, Elias, who gives them very good top-tier offensive talent. Um, last year, they had an incredible first line of, obviously, Stutzla, Paterka, and Elliot Stutzla and Paterka have now moved on AHL ranks for J.J. Paterka and NHL ranks for Tim Stutzla. Um, obviously, those guys put up an incredible 29 points, so they got to get those points with Elias from somewhere. Will that come from Alexander Blank, uh, Jacob Borzecki, uh, Joshua Sam, Sam, Samoski, excuse me, Marcus uh, Swaginger? or Justin Volick, uh, who will that come from? But somebody's got to step up, obviously, to take the place of the Stutzla and Paterka, because you know Elias, who's going to be a very good guy if he wants to come overseas, <coughs> um, which it seems so, uh, th that's a guy that's going to step up and do what he has to do. Now it's on other guys that were more of a step-back role to step up and take flight this year. Now the rest of their defense, or not defense, offense, excuse me, is Noah Dor Dunham, uh, Donho Lenhart, uh, Rukowski, and then Bennett Romsmy, Yannick Burkhart, Josef Eham, Tomas Heigl, and then UC Pedersen. So that makes up the rest of their defense. Um, obviously, when it comes to Elias, he's a very good foe with great speed and is producing great in the second season in the Dell. Um, I think, obviously, they need to make up, like I said, for Paterka and Stutzla, but this team, given with Elias, does have elite offensive talent and has other guys that are good offensive forwards that have the ability to step up. Like I mentioned, now it's just on them to do such. And like I said, these guys have more cohesiveness than most teams because they play two to three times the tournament of other teams. Now, a trio of returnees... Um, unlike the offense, they do have a trio of returnees on the blue line. Um, there may not be two players who have played together more at this year's tournament than Maximilian Glotzel and uh, Maximilian um, Maximilian Subzer, I think is how you say that. Uh, the pair has appeared on every national team together from the U16s all the way to the U20s. And this year, there'll be Germany's anchors on the blue line. So obviously, you have guys that have great, speaking of that cohesiveness, great cohesiveness with each other, according to hockey writers. Glotzel is an aggressive physical defender and a bomb of a slap shot, while Zuber possesses a more offensive skill set and was the highest scoring U-20 defenseman last year in the Alps HL. Uh, this season, he's mainly been between the Dells EHC Munchen where he has one goal in 16 tilts. So, obviously, they have a very cohesive returnees on defense, Elias on offense, plus other guys that can step up, as I mentioned. So, it's it's on the guys like the Dunhams, like the Volicks, like the Swavingers, like the Samonskis, um, or Zekis, to step up with Elias to be able to play, because they have a good defense um, on this team, that's for sure, with Glotzel, Sober, uh, Munzenberg, uh, Palou, Klein, um, Dezombor, Geibel, Bot Botner, and that rounds that out. And then when it comes to goaltending, <clears throat> they definitely don't have to worry about that because uh, Bugle, obviously, last season was one of the best um, not talked about enough stories of the tournament. Um, and uh, after a tough loss to the Canadians, he won the next two games against Slovak and Switzerland and put Germany in a playoff spot when it came time to take on the powerful Russians. He got the nod and turned away 17 of 19 shots in route to a tough 2-1 to one loss. Um, this year, the undrafted prospect takes on the starting role from the get-go. 
He's been one of the best U20 goal, goalies playing in Austria's Alps Hockey League this season, putting up a two or a 9.08 save percentage and a 2.59 goals against average with the RB Hockey Juniors. So uh, maybe Florian Bugel will be somebody that does undraft the prospect. Maybe he'll be somebody that does eventually get a chance to come over if he keeps playing as well as he's doing. But he's going to get a chance to carry the weight uh, for Germany. Uh, that's the sh- for sure, and then they are going to have also Nikita Quap, who's a six foot three, eighteen year old playing with the um, Penguin of the Dutch uh, Hockey League. Uh, he was a German. He started at the U eighteen Championship last year, and although they were outmatched, he kept them in games, according to hockey writers. So this team again plays two to three times more of the tournament. They have a very very good goaltender in Florian Bugel that. Honestly, probably will get a chance to come overseas if he wants to, if he keeps playing that well as an undrafted prospect. Uh, Nikita Kwap <clears throat> uh, obviously kept them in games overseas, so he's a very good guy to have there as well. And then you have a good defense that has cohesiveness, that had guys that play together since their U16 days. You have LES on offense and others that can step up. So it's going to be a tough road, obviously, with the group that they're in, but you can never count out this German team because of how much they have played together from all the tournaments that they have more so than some of these other teams. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a World Juniors video on Team Germany. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.